All right, you can see my screen okay, Al? Yes. And we should be recording. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We've got a great call lined up for you today. Uh, it is about compensation. And uh, I know that most of you or all of you would be doing this for free. But uh, of course, this is a business and we're doing it to get paid, right? Um, we're going to cover, just to give you a high level overview of this morning, um, really what are the basic building blocks of our business. And then we're going to dig down into the details and show you our system. And we, we talk a lot about, you hear a lot about the system, the system, the system. System can be really boiled down into one basic building block, and that's qualified associates. And President's Club is part of that, but it, again, it comes down to qualified associates. And so let me just dive right into uh, the presentation today. You know, um, the way to look at the marketing system, if you will, is it's a distribution system. And there's a, lot, there's a big difference between a sales organization and a marketing organization. We're a marketing organization in my book. I mean, if you choose to, to run yours as a sales organization, uh, I wish you the best. What we, what we know that in this business, marketing organizations always win. What's the difference? Well, a sales organization would go out and hire 10 people that did 10 sales. A marketing organization would go out and hire 100 people that did one. That's an extreme example but it's all about uh, distribution, right? And um, you know, our motto really is lots of people doing a little being led by a few that are doing, uh, doing a lot. Now, who, who determines that? Of course, each individual determines what they're going to do uh, with, with our business. And I don't know why my computer does that, but I may have to restart there. Did you lose the screen now? I'm having more trouble with this Prosperity Central. Al, you there, buddy? Yeah, I'm here. I'm sorry. I was on. Uh, I was on mute. Um, so no, I can you, still see you moving around the screen. Okay. Just try to open up the PowerPoint again. Yeah. There you go. It's back on. All right. Unless you got too many so things open, Brian. I don't have yep, anything open except. Yep. The only thing okay, I have open is this. All right. So, uh, compensation solves the prospecting problem, solves a lot of problems in the business. We have another video, <clears throat> uh, you know, I, where the kind of the big picture of the of the compensation plan is explained and and, and how it solves all these problems. But just know that the you know the biggest problem in our industry and in our business. And our system, which of course is tied to an integral part of our compensation program, solves the prospecting problem. Uh, and it also solves the revolving door with associates where you train and lose your best people, your, your best become your competition. Uh, you also want to eliminate that constantly chasing after sales. And you want to be able to leverage your time, leverage your income. Uh, and you know, you, you can give away the same contract that you, say, that you have and, and still maintain an override. Know this too that many companies, they won't tell you exactly what everyone makes. Ours is completely transparent. And I like that because that keeps everybody above board. You know exactly what you need to do, exactly how to get there, and it has nothing to do with your golf score, your politics, uh, uh, any, any of that stuff do the numbers, and get the compensation, right? Well, I'm going to dig into this deeper. And if you look at this, um, you, you know, a lot of folks, and by the way, you might not get every single detail by seeing this the first time. Try to get an, a, a high level. You may want to come back and watch it a couple of times. And what will happen is over time, as you're starting to work out examples in your business, you'll see you know, when it becomes real for you with dollars and cents, all the, the little details will start to kind of come together, okay? But this is a pay grid from uh, Anico. And each one of the companies and each one of the products have, have different pay grids, but this is the way that it works generally. We chose Anico and IUL because those are the flagship products and the flagship, flagship product and the flagship company. 
and uh, it looks like a mess. We're going to break this down into pieces so that it becomes a lot clearer. Okay. <clears throat> First is there's two big parts to the compensation: base shop and then BP and above. Base shop is the first three positions, 40, 50, 60 percent. Those are designed to be training positions, and you should rapidly move through those positions to vice president. And then from vice president above, and then senior bonus or senior contract, VP and above. And we look at the rest of the compensation. There's three different ways to get there from base shop to VP. Everyone's goal should be to get to vice president as quickly as possible. And the reason for that is once you're at the VP level, you are in a position to override everybody regardless of their contract level. And we'll explain how that works in just a second. Now, in, in the training process going from 40 to 50 to 60 percent contract, <clears throat> there may be at times where someone is at a higher contract than yours, which means you lose out on a on, a, on an override, or they're at the same contract as you, and uh, you, you're you're not getting that override as well. So you want to you want to stay at least one step ahead of your team, and definitely get the VP as quickly as possible. So three ways to do that. One is as a builder with team production. Remember, team is always team is easier or better in my book than it is personal production. But you can do it based on personal production to get the VP. And the best way, you know, let's, let's call this good, better, best, right? The best way is fast track. Dramatically reduced requirements if you do it in the first 60 days to vice president. Okay? Sprint award, fast track award. And you're going to see that this, is, this all ties together with President's Club qualified associates seamlessly. Okay? So 40, 50, 60, 80, all the way up to 91. The goal here is ENVP, pick up all the senior and, and the generationals as well. And we'll explain that in just a second. Okay, so what are the, the base shop requirements? Come in as a brand new rep at 40%. And, and the question, of course, is 40% of what? Well, 40% of the total commissions paid to the field times 40% is what your percentage would be. So how do I move from 40 to 50%? Well, again, three choices, builder, personal production, or fast track. Sprint is basically five simple things in the first 10 days and move to 50%. Or $15,000, and we'll explain what some of these terms are here in just a second, commissionable premium, and three direct associates on your team, or in personal production. Now, here's what the difference is, and, uh, and, and, uh, and I appreciate Anthony Politi the other day for pointing this out. Um, this makes sense because this is only your personal production, does not include your team. In other words, you, can't, you, you don't count both. It's either or, right, personal production or your team. <clears throat> at 10,000, um, now 10,000 in total commissions paid to the field and go to 50%. A lot more difficult, of course, than doing the sprint, uh, the sprint award. Big incentive for doing it fast and getting it going. District, now it says NCP. What that means is new commissionable premium or new commissions paid to the field over and above the 15. So at this point now, we're at a cumulative of 35. The cumulative of 35, by the way, there's no timeline or time period on that. That's, uh, that's kind of a forever um, time frame, right? Um, it's not within 30 days or 90 days, et cetera. It's cumulative. And then to go to, uh, and then on the personal, it's 15 and new. So that would be 10 plus 15 plus 20 to go to VP. Okay, um, and the other part of this is three direct recruits, six team recruits, and nine team recruits. That's what the TR stands for, is team, team recruits. Okay, clear as mud? Good deal. <clears throat> um, maybe I should have defined the terms first, right? 
annualized commissionable premium or CP, and the way we do that is annual target, which is commissionable premium paid to the field, uh, would be, in this case, if the, the target was $300 a month, the, the total would be $3,600, and that's what you would use for that, uh, for the promotions. New annualized commissionable premium, we talked about that. That's over and above what the first month was. So if it was 15 in the first month plus 20 plus plus 20 more for a total of 55 to go to vice president. DR in that example was direct recruit, meaning you personally sponsor. TR means team, so you're building folks under you. And later on we're going to talk a little bit about legs. What, what's a leg? Well, leg is another word, a three personal or three legs. In this case, this person has three directs or three teams or three, um, three directs, three legs, three personal. That one, two, three. They got a total of five people on their team, three direct. Okay. Also in that one sheet of paper down the bottom in the fine print, if you will, is um, what, what are some of the rules and guidelines here is no more than one half of the premium going to vice president from any one leg promoted to vice president. And that's, uh, you know, that, that means that if you uh, hire one hotshot superstar, you can take a maximum of 50% of the uh, production from that any one person. So you at least have to match that or have multiple legs. And remember, you, you have to have at least three, but now you have to have three producing and only 50%, maximum 50% can come from any one leg. For senior promotions, it's no more than one-third in the premium, or commissionable premium, rather, from any one leg for SVP, which is from vice president on higher. And then uh, the company hasn't announced any base shop production uh, at this point, and of course, uh, this is subject to change at the discretion of Freedom Equity Group. Also, uh, annuity premiums can count, uh, count as much as 5%. And again, each grid and payout will, will vary based on the product, the company, and so on. And we're using the Anico IUL in our example. Um, the production numbers on the grid uh, are based for senior VP are based on a rolling 90-day consecutive for senior VPs uh, and promotions. So big picture is the first few promotions from you know from from 40 to 50, real quick, should be simple to do. Sprint, get there, get it done, knock it out. Moving from 40 to 50, fast start, fast track, be able to knock it out. We have folks that are doing it regularly in 30 days or less. You have 60 days to do it. I mean, of course, don't wait until the last day to uh, to do it, but uh, you can do it in 30 days and 30 days or less. Or the alternative is to grind it out. And, um, and, and you, you can do it, of course, but it's much, you know, uh, I've heard someone say that the, uh, the best start, uh, the easiest start is a fast start. Okay? <clears throat> when we talk about Anico commissions, too, by the way, that total commissions paid to the field, 75% is paid in advance on issue and 25% is paid as earned in month number 10, 11, and 12. And that's based on issue paid, okay? Um, annual premium pays 100% on, uh, on the issue. Somebody pays uh, their $3,000 annual premium in one payment, then, that, then there is no 25% as earned. Additionally, 1.5% in a renewal on personal production. Okay, so let's give a let's go through an example here and say that you are at the 50% contract and you have an associate at 40%, and that associate makes a sale. The client is paying $300 per month or $3,600 per year, and not all of that is target, right? Some of that is excess. And let's say that the target is $3,000. So the commissionable premium, let's say, is $3,000. <clears> that associate who made that sale is at 40% times 3000 
or $1,200 would be the total if they would be paid. <clears throat> 70, if it was paid, if this was being paid monthly, they'd get 75% now and 25% in the last three months, 10, 11, and month number 12. Since you recruited that person, you're at a 50% contract. Here's the, the idea of spread. The difference between your contract and their contract is your override or the piece that you get for having recruited that person, right? So that would be you're at 50, they're at 40, you got 10% on $3,000 or $300 in an override. If there was a VP above you, of course there is a VP above you, uh, is at 80%, they make the difference between your 50%, their 80%, or a 30% spread. 30 times 3,000 is $900. <clears throat> the next generation VP in the line after that, the VP makes 9% on $3,000 or $270. Uh, $270. And you know the. Um, I did not include, Al, I had to change computers for, let me just, uh, let me just finish the generations here. So first generation is 9%. Second generation is 4%. Third is 3%. Uh, fourth is 2%. And then fifth generation is 1%. So the first generation VP would make 270. Second generation VP would make 120. Third generation would make 90. Fourth would make 60. And fifth generation would make 30. Now, we call this an infinity compensation plan because it allows you to be paid through infinity. The senior bonuses, which are um, Senior Vice President, National Vice President, Senior National Vice President, and Executive National Vice President pay a bonus over and above what we just showed on the diagram. And they're paid through infinity if there is no other Senior Vice President in that line. So in this case, let's say that this person was above that VP or was the ENVP in that lineup they're going to collect all of those bonuses, not only on that team, not only through fifth generation, but through infinite generation. Uh, realize that this is a huge, you know, it's $60 here and $90 and $90 and, and uh, $90, you know, $330 for the, whole, uh, for the whole deal. But it's paid through infinity no matter where in your organization they are or how deep they run. This is a big, big deal. It's a huge, huge wealth creator. And that's why the goal with President's Club is to get to ENVP as quickly as possible and doing that leveraging qualified associates, shirts and pins, and that's what we're going to talk about next. Okay? So that's the, uh, that's the, 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 the quick overview version of our comp plan. Al, uh, anything you want to add to that? Yeah, Brian, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I got you, buddy. Go ahead. Okay, great. Let, just go back to the, the three different ways to get promoted to VP, please. Yeah, right there. Let, let, let's just simplify this you know, really, really quickly, okay? There's three ways you can do it as a builder. Okay, understand that this compensation is not just based on Anico. It's any production that comes in. If you do 15000 in total with three direct associates, you move to district leader. If you do an additional 20000 in production, that's annualized production, and now you have six team recruits, you move to division, and then an additional 20000 and a total of nine team recruits, you move. Or, and there's no time frame. Or you can do personal production. Basically, 45000 no time frame, uh, over a period of time, you move to VP. Or you can fast track. Now, what is the fast track? Five direct associates and 15000 So essentially, what you'd have to do on the builder level, step one, plus two people, and you would move to the VP contract. So clearly, 
you know, the, the, there's really, you know, it, it's really kind of a no-brainer, right? I mean, you can do it either way. But here's the good news. If you only sprint, you immediately go to 50. If you fast start, which means that you have three qualified associates in your first 30 days, you go to 60. And let's say you fall short in the next 30 days. Well, you're still a division manager, and now you either have to do 20,000 and have a total of nine team recruits, or you have to do 20,000 in personal production, and you would move to VP. So even if you fell short of fast track, folks, it's not all lost because you've made it to 60, and you're almost there. So of course, you know, time is of the essence, 60-day period of time, fast track, that is the absolute best way to go, and it can be simply done with five qualified associates, and we're going to talk about that. So I think Brian did a good job explaining this here. Um, all the promotions above this are on a rolling 90-day uh, level, and I just want to bring out one more thing. You can only count 50% from one leg, okay? So let's talk about the builder compensation of 55000 So let's say Al Cardi recruits three people. One of them is Brian Daly. Brian does $100,000 of production. Do I become a vice president? Well, I can only count half the production level, half of 55 is 27.5. So even though Brian did 100,000, I can only count 27.5. I have to have another 27.5 coming from other people or personally in other parts of the organization, and of course I have to have nine team recruits. So you don't lose that person, but you can still only count half of their production. So what's important here is that you don't just think about one person, you think about a minimum of three, right? When you go to the senior level productions, you need three, which means to go to senior vice president real quickly, if I have to do 100,000 of cumulative production annualized, by the way, folks, that's only 10 sales a month. You understand that, right? $3,000 times 10 is 30,000 annualized, right? I got to do that three months in a row. That's only 10 sales a month. Well, let's say I have Brian, that same scenario. Brian does the whole 100,000, does all 30 sales over 90 days. Do I get promoted? No, because I can only count a third from any one person. So I can only count 33,000 from Brian, regardless of how much I override it all, I make money on it all. So it's got nothing it has everything to do with promotions. So I, I can only go to senior vice president if I have 100,000, no more than 33,000 from one direct person in their organization, okay? So I just want to make sure everybody's clear on that because this encourages you, of course, to build beyond one person, is to build a little bit of width in your organization, minimally three, preferably more, so that you're always balanced and you will move up the system much, much faster. So with that, uh, Brian, you'll, you know, when you tie in now the President's Club, you'll see how this all ties in nicely to how the President's Club breaks this all down for you, right? Once again, now how do I get to that production level, right? Well, the President's Club is the step-by-step -step plan of how to get there. So Brian, if you can just go right to green shirt, for me here. Uh, we've gone through this part of it, uh, and we, we've, we've already got this on video. I just want to go right to where we got to be at the green shirt level. And this is the first level, okay? So if you get five qualified associates in a 30-day period of time, now keep in mind, if you fast-tracked in 30 days, well, obviously, you've already qualified for the green shirt. If you did it with you sponsored three and two other people came in under them, you still did it, but it's about five qualified associates. With an average premium, I've discounted it here from 3000 to 2250 So five qualified associates plus 11250 in premium, that's five times 2250 Your average income off of this will be about a 40% spread, okay? because you're doing some of that yourself. <clears throat> Your income, based on that, if you maintain that every month, is a little over $50,000 a year. Not a, not a bad deal, 
okay? If we move on, the next level is 10 qualified associates, okay? And that would be the white shirt. Well, 10 qualified associates works the same way. This is in a 30-day period of time. You have 10 qualified associates that join your business in a 30-day period of time. Consequently, a qualified associate is someone who has completed the five steps, right? One of those five steps is their personal plan. Again, using an average of 2250, that's 22,500. Thus, 10 qualified associates, and it has to total 22,500. On an average 40% spread, that's $9,000 a month. That's a $100,000 income. Therefore, if you are qualifying, if you qualify for your white shirt and maintain that level, that's a hundred thousand dollar income month in and month out. But it gets better because now, how do you go to the next level? How do you get promoted to senior vice president? Well, let's qualify for the team, the white blue. How do you get the white blue? It's fifteen team qualified associates three months in a row. So what does that mean? What's well, 45 qualified associates over 90 days, and at an average of 2250, that's $101,000 of production. On a 40% spread, that would be $40,000 of income for the quarter times four is $160,000 annual income if you maintain that production level. By the way, that's also your senior vice president promotion. So now what's the next level? Uh, you know, because this is a race to, this is a chance to get to a seven-figure income, right? What's the next level? Dark blue shirt. That's 25 team qualified associates three months in a row. So 75 qualified associates, average uh, premium. That's 168,000. I've reduced the spread a little bit because now you're doing a little bit more team building, but that's $59,000, and that actually should be times four, okay, which would be 236,000. It's not times 12 because that's based on a quarterly basis, okay? Uh, next level, I want to get to NVP. How do I get to NVP? Get the khaki shirt. It's 50 team qualified associates three months in a row. That'd be 150 qualified associates with the average premium that's over $300,000 of total premium at a 30% spread. That's 101,000 of income. Four times is $405,000 of income. And that's also your national vice president promotion. So see folks, are you getting this? Everything is tied to the promotion system. So as you are qualifying in the President's Club and moving yourself up within the system of the President's Club, you are also qualifying yourself for promotions. Now, what's not being said here is the fact that there will be other business that is happening aside from these qualified associates. I didn't factor that in here. In other words, you're going to do business with people that are not going to be associates. They're going to be just clients. That's not factored in here. This is just based on a very simplistic builder's plan if you are bringing on qualified associates. And we're going to talk a lot about that wrapping this up. But let's go to the next level, the gold shirt. The gold shirt is 75 team qualified associates three months in a row. Now keep in mind, you have the benefit of the people you've just brought on the prior months, right? So this is not from zero. Remember, you have a baseline. You just qualified for the, uh, for the khaki shirt, which meant you had 150 qualified associates in a 90-day period of time. Well, those 150 people are now helping you to get to 225 qualified associates over the next 90 days. But you've got a lot of help. You have a team. That's what this is about. Now, put the numbers to that. That's over $500,000 of premium. At a 30% spread, that's $151,000 or in excess of $600,000 a year, and you've now qualified for senior national vice president. Now, folks, when you're looking at these numbers, we started at the green shirt at $54,000 a year, and you've basically duplicated your efforts with people, and you've grown your business to a point where it's now in excess of $600,000 a year. Don't be intimidated by the numbers. Just follow the steps. 
because it will happen for you if you just follow the steps. <clears throat> the ultimate goal is to get to the next shirt, which is the, <coughs> excuse me, the black shirt, and that is 100 qualified associates three months in a row with all the help of your team, okay, because this is all team. So now you've got 667000 in production on a 30% spread. You're, you're in excess of $800,000, and frankly, folks, you probably will be over a million when you add all the other ancillary business and sales that occur from non-associates. You certainly will be over a million again. For the sake of this presentation, I kept it strictly to the qualified associate. And then the last level is the red shirt, and you'll see here this is 200, 600 qualified associates, and that's a million three income. Uh, and, and this will probably be much, much higher, but that is ultimately your ENVP production. If all you did was follow the path of the qualified associate. So we talked about the guidelines so that you have an understanding <coughs> of you can do it fast, or you can do it personally, or you can do it as a builder, and you can take your time. It's up to you, okay? Uh, of course, we encourage you to go fast, but that's up to you. You know, my agenda is not your agenda. But with that said, and, you know, Brian, you can go to that next slide. This just kind of talks about some of the parameters. All qualified associates right now are initially part of the President's Club. How do you do that? Become a qualified associate. We're going to talk about that. Beginning December 1, there are only two ways you can get into the President's Club. Number one, if you're a sprint winner. You become a qualified associate in 10 days. Or you qualify for the green shirt, which is five qualified associates in 30 days. So what does that mean? If on December 1st, you are a new associate with, uh, with Freedom Equity Group, and by December 11th, you have not qualified for your sprint, which is five simple things, right? Register for your licensing or get appointed if you are licensed. Uh, have your spouse look at our business. Put your personal plan together with your, with your leader, trainer, manager, VP, whatever. Put your list together. Introduce three to five people to are you in front of your computer. If you've done that, in automatically in the, qualify, in, the, in the President's Club. If you don't do it in 10 days, then you have to go to the green shirt, which means you'd have qualified associates in a 30-day period of time. Okay? All non-VP associates are included in your base shop and will count towards your levels of achievement, meaning for the green shirt and the white shirt, all everybody counts. But once you get to the white shirt and you have VPs, no more than a third can come from one leg. So let's talk about that again. Make sure it's clear. Al Cardi's trying to qualify for the gold shirt. The gold shirt requires, excuse me, the khaki shirt requires that I do 150 qualified associates in a 90-day period of time. I have one direct leg, Brian Daly, who does 150 himself in the 90 days with his team. Do I qualify? No. I only qualify, I only get a third of the production from any one leg, so I can only count up to 50 from any one leg. So if Brian did 150, I get to earn money on it all, but I've only qualified with 50. So I have to have two other legs or more that have done the other 100, no more than 50 from any one leg. So again, it's a third. And this is consistent with the company guidelines. Now, folks, this is real important because the guidelines are now going to be in our system here with our new software, and the system is going to be able to determine where your production levels are. So if you're focused on the President's Club, you're going to be getting promoted right along the way. Okay? The other thing is for the President's Club, the minimum is $2,250 uh, per sale average. Now, that's what we use as a baseline. I know that there are some of you that are writing much higher than that, and maybe some are writing less. So what does that mean? If the white shirt says 10 qualified associates and 22,500, and I have 10 qualified associates, but I only did 15,000, did I get there? No. 
I would have to do some additional production to reach the 22.5. So consequently, when we talk about promotions, if the promotion level for senior vice president is 100,000, but my average sale is more than 25% less than the company average, then I have to do a little bit more production to meet those guidelines, okay? Because see, this is all based, and it's the same thing with the President's Club, because this is all based on a seven-figure income. It doesn't make any difference if you don't hit the numbers because then you don't hit the income levels you're trying to hit, okay? So consequently, if Al's writing an average of $1,500 per commissionable premium, then I just need to do a few more to hit that level. Not a big deal. But ultimately, the numbers will match out and be the same at every level, okay? So we talked about the guidelines. We talked about the presence club. We showed you the pathway, how to get to ENVP, both from the guideline standpoint and how the President's Club will get you there. Now I'm going to give you the secret. I want you to do me a favor, please. Stop multitasking. I want you to get out a pad. I want you to listen intensely to the next 10 or 15 minutes of what I'm going to talk to you about. Uh, please. Because this is important. Because in all things, we look for how simple can our business be. And our business is incredibly simple if you follow a simple path. Now, you can make it more complicated if you want. You can try to make it more sophisticated if you want. That's completely up to you. However, what I'm going to show you here is the way you're going to get to a seven-figure income if you will plug in trust it, and work at it. That is the qualified associate. When we, and I'm going to take you through it real quick, the first step that you should be utilizing, in my opinion, is number one, you're making a contact and you're asking people if they're in front of their computer. And you're taking them to the, I'm not going to go through all that now, you've all heard me say that, you know, several times. And the video in our back office is there, go watch the video. But you're taking them to the presentation and they're watching the overview presentation. The second step to that, <clears throat> which you'll see in a recording here in the next week or so, is what do I do after they've done that and call me back? Now there's also an audio, if you log in to the FBI site through the team login, Go to system training, training audios. You'll see there are two audios there. One is, are you in front of your computer? The second one is, the next step after, are you in front of your computer, okay? You'll have that all shortly. But here's what it comes down to, folks. There's five things people need to do to have a chance for success in our business. And this is the initial screening process, in my opinion, okay? Number one, they need to get licensed, right? Number two... Their spouse needs to understand it, and I'm going to explain these to you real quick. Number three, they've got to complete their personal plan. Number four, they've got to introduce us to three to five people, which is going to be as a result of them putting together a list of 25 to 100 people. If they complete these five steps in any time period, they're a qualified associate. If they do it in 10 days, they're a sprint winner, which comes with what? A promotion to 50%? and an automatic induction into the President's Club. So there's big incentive for getting this done in 10 days. So let's analyze it. Can this be done in 10 days? Well, the first step is, go back, Brian, please. The first step is submit your license paperwork. Well, if you're licensed, it's about 20 minutes on the computer to do the no more forms. If you're unlicensed, it's pre-registered for the licensing course so you can begin the process of getting a license. Now, look, and I'll use Brian. Brian, you know, you're, uh, you know, you're looking at our company, and what I want to do, and I've taken Brian through some recap, and Brian, here's what I want to do, Brian. I want to show you the five core things that uh, you'll need to do to have a chance of success at our company. Number one is, you know, obviously getting the license. Brian, I'm sure you'd agree, you know, because we work in a regulated industry, if you don't have a license, you, obviously you can't. Okay, so Brian, I'm sure you'd agree that getting a license is important, isn't it? Absolutely. Right. 
The second thing is, Brian, here, you'll notice it says meet the spouse. Now, Brian, I, look, I know you discuss everything with your wife, Alan, and, you know, she's a great lady, and, but I'm sure you would agree you don't need your spouse to be successful, but I think you would agree with me in saying that if your spouse was not supportive, it would be more difficult. Is that fair to say? For sure. For sure. So what, what we need to do, Brian, is we need to make sure that Ellen has an opportunity to watch the video, the entire overview of 36 minutes. And of course, if she has any questions or concerns, we ought to get on the phone just so I can help her understand that. Now look, Brian, she never has to participate in a meeting. She's never got to come to events. She's never got to call anybody. But it's important for your success for her to know what you're doing because she could open up some doors for you that otherwise may not open if she doesn't understand what you're doing. Agreed? Agreed. Okay. Now, Brian, complete your personal financial strategy. You know, Brian, we talked about a lot of things. We talked about living benefits. We talked about situations, right? You and I have talked about people we know of that have had heart attacks, strokes, cancer, and other issues prior to age 65. They're still alive today. Some of them were hurt financially. I, Brian, I'm sure you'd agree. What we need to do is we need to determine what you qualify for based on affordability and based on need. But clearly, uh, if, if we're going to share this with other people, it's it's important that you believe in the program enough to own it for yourself. Would you agree with that, Brian? Absolutely. Right. Now, that leads right into the next step. Now that you know clearly it's right for you and your family, and, and it is because, let's face it, we're, nobody's exempt, right? Nobody's exempt from a situation. Well, the next people we're going to want to take this to is people that we care about, right? People that are friends of ours, people out of family, uh, and so on and so forth. And see, that's going to help you put together the list of people that you'd want to share this with. See, we're not selling lotions and potions or any of that stuff. What we're teaching people is how to avoid financial devastation. We're showing them how to take care of their family. And more importantly, Brian, most of those people, just like you, probably have the wrong kind of insurance and it needs to be upgraded. So we're going to determine who those people are, and we're going to be able to help them, and we're going to share what we've just done here with three to five of those people. In other words, Brian, what did I do when I first called you? What, do you recall what I asked you to do? Are you in front of your computer? Did you ask me if I was in front of my computer? Did I lose you, Al? You are now on mute. Are we okay? Are we okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, if they can hear me. They can hear me. You are now muted. I think we lost Al. <clears throat> Okay. I'm going to jump right back in here. Can you guys hear me okay, or did we lose me? Let's see. Hey, Brian. Sorry about that. Yeah, buddy. All right. I lost right. My, uh, my phone connection. So, okay. you know, what, what we were saying, and, and let me just kind of wrap that up, and, you know, hopefully this didn't get uh, distorted too bad. But basically, Brian, what you did was, I asked you to go in front of your computer and you watch the video. Well, see, Brian, you know what we're going to do with the people that you know and care about? We're going to ask them to do the same thing. We're going to ask them to watch the video, and I'm going to do this with you, and we're going to let them get the same information and education that you got, and then we're going to follow up with them just like I'm doing with you now. So can you see, Brian, how it's going to work here? We're not asking people to do something they don't want to do. We're asking them to watch some compelling information just like you did, and we're going to share it with them. Okay? So, Brian, 
Those are the five key things. Now, folks, in an in a overview, when I'm doing this with somebody on the phone, I'm taking them through each step. And I didn't do that this morning. I just wanted to give you the overview. See, I didn't say, now, let me go back here, Brian. I didn't say, you have to buy from me to come to work, did I, Brian? No, <clears throat> not at all. So, so as I'm talking to all the folks here as far as training, I didn't say to the prospect, you have to buy. You have to, have to, have to. I said, I'm sure you'd agree that if you believe in the living benefits and understand what can happen to a family if they don't have them, I'm sure you'd agree you'd want to do this for yourself, wouldn't you? I'm Absolutely. I'm getting them to agree. See, Brian, I'm having them buy into the concept of why they – I'm just – it's just reasoning, right? It's just logical. If you like what you saw here, why wouldn't you do it for yourself first? I didn't say you have to buy, but they should want to buy. And what I'm saying, folks – is this is the initial filter. So once they commit to that, right, step one, you're in front of your computer. Step two, ask your computer, how to become a qualified associate. Step three, implementation of this plan and then duplicate it. Are you in front of your computer? Let me show you what you have to do, become a qualified associate, implementation. What's next? Are you in front of your computer? Let me show you what you have to do, implementation. Can you understand a one, two, three system? And hopefully you're connecting the dots, folks, dots, folks because you're realizing that now I, I'm, I'm simplifying this. There'll be other things along the way people have to learn, right? And let me tell you how you learn. You learn through activity. You know how you're going to learn how to have an interview and a successful interview? Have a prospect that watches the video, do a three-way call with me or Brian or one of the VPs. You will then learn how to do a successful interview. You want to learn how to do a proposal? Let's create activity. Let's find the client, and then you and I will go over the proposal on a joint meeting, and I will show you every step of the way how that's structured. When you have a client, activity creates the knowledge. Activity also creates the confidence. It doesn't come the other way around. Now, does that mean you shouldn't be studying and looking at stuff on your own? Of course you should. But understand that activity, hands-on training and activity, is the best way to learn this business. And the best way to learn about an IUL is when we do your plan. Because when you decide to write a check for your plan, you are going to ask every conceivable question known to man because you want to understand what you're getting, and the value of your money. So don't underemphasize or don't, don't undervalue the simplicity of the system. The system is whereby recruiting will continue. The system is designed to produce mega volume. The system is designed for you to make a seven-figure income. Now let me wrap this up, Ryan, and I'm going to turn it back to you. Look, folks. I happen to be part of a company. Some of you have heard this story before, but you need to hear it. And please, uh, once again, if you're looking at your email, please stop. Just give me your undivided attention for five more minutes because this is vitally important for you and your success in this business if you want success here. Okay. I joined a company called A.L. Williams Primerica. Well, it was A.L. Williams back in 1985. That was the year after they beat Credential in volume. So they were already doing big, big volume. But from 1980 to 1990, that company recruited over 2 million people. It has been in business for 37, 38 years. It was sold to Citicorp back in 1990 for almost a billion dollars. It still exists today, and they sell 4,000 term policies every month just in the state of California. Not the country, just in the state of California. Now, let's talk about what they have. What they have is a term product. It's all they sell. It's about 40% higher priced than the Anico Signature Term. It does not have living benefits. They have a compensation plan that is inferior to the compensation plan we just talked to you about. 
they don't have the ability to write $3,000 target annualized premiums because they're writing term insurance, much smaller premiums. How could they possibly be selling 4,000 policies a month only in the state of California, only with term, none of which have living benefits, and why are people joining their company on a monthly basis? It's a good question, isn't it? <clears throat> I'm going to tell you why right now. Because they have a system, and even though they have an inferior product and an inferior comp plan, they have a system that works. And because of that system, people join that company, even though they're selling an inferior product and not being compensated for it. Why is McDonald's probably the number, and not probably, the number one producer of hamburgers in the world, the number one producer of buns in the world? Is it because they sell the best hamburger in the universe? No, it's because they have a system. Folks, you've got to understand where we are today at Freedom Equity Group, okay? We have the best products available to the consumer on the market today with three of the top financially stable, 100-year-old, A-rated companies in the land. We have the best hybrid compensation model of any compensation plan similar to our, uh, in our arena in the land, okay? There is nobody that can be. We have infinity bonuses that nobody has. Our system is a qualified associate. Our system, I just explained it to you in the last 10 minutes. Our system is about sharing a video with people, step one, following up with them, step two, and implementing our plan, step three. Are you in front of your computer? Let me show you what you have to do, become a qualified associate, and let's go share this with other people, implementation, step number three. Do you understand, folks, put the pieces of the puzzle together. In the best products in the land, best compensation in the land with a system that is simple and duplicatable that embraces technology, and we have a low barrier of entry, of entry for people to join us. Folks, if Primerica could do it with what they have, question, what could we do with Freedom Equity Group? You can just imagine what not only can happen, but what will happen, but it evolves around following a simple system that's duplicatable. Many of you have heard me say this a hundred times if I've said it once. To multiply, we have to simplify. If you simplify, you will build a huge organization. Well, we've got a three-step process. Are you in front of your computer? Let me show you what you have to do. Let's share it with other people. You're in front of your computer. Let me show you what you have to do. Let's share this with other people. It really is that simple, and it all comes down to what we refer to as a qualified associate. You want to be a VP? Go get qualified associates. You want to be a seven-figure earner? Go get qualified associates and show other people how to do the same thing. That's it in a nutshell, folks. So today, hopefully, you got the picture. Hopefully, you got the message. Uh, you know, Brian did an excellent job explaining the guidelines. We've got a president's club, and by reducing this down in its simplest form, all we have to do is make sure that we complete the five steps of a qualified associate. Make sure you do it, and then just duplicate that with other people. Brian, I'll turn it back to you, buddy. Awesome job, Al. I just wish we could get you a little more fired up. Hey, um, <clears throat> I want to say that that... that for me, the training hour went, it flew by, and um, this I'm going to make available to you so you can go back through. The idea of this is check the box, fill in the blank, follow along, and you will be amazed at how magical this program works as you check the box, follow the details along the way, plan to focus, and so on. I'm going to click off the recorder. We'll make this, uh, the PowerPoints and everything available so you can go back and read through it. Any questions, of course, I'd be happy to answer them. And uh, let's see if we have any questions. I'm going to stop the recorder and open it up for questions.